The Ace of Spades wants to know. I have a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank used for charging electronics and starting cars. Would it be safe to use an XT60 to car accessory plug adapter to use with my toolkit RC charger? Per probably. So if you can start a car, if it's a jump starter power bank, then probably it's outputting 12 volts or thereabouts, which is a high enough voltage to run the toolkit RC. The other question is how many amps or watts it can provide. And it's, it may not be able to provide very many. Um, although if it's a jump starter, maybe it provides a lot. Um, so probably you can do it. The only thing I would point out is that 20,000 milliamp hours. So let's do a little math here. When you have a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. Okay, so that's divide by a thousand. That's 20 amp hours, but that is probably 1s voltage. So we need to convert to watt hours by multiplying by 3.7 volts, and then it's 1s, so we just multiply by 3.7 one times. So that is 74 watt hours in your battery bank. And the reason that's important is because when you are comparing batteries of different voltage, you can't compare the milliamp hours, you have to compare the watt hours, and that's how you do that conversion. So for comparison, a, uh, a typical like five inch freestyle or racing pack is about 22 watt hours. So if that, if that battery bank can, has 74 watt hours, that is about, so I'm gonna do the math, 74 divided by 22 is 3.3. .3. So you will charge two or three batteries in real life off that power bank. And I think a lot of people would look at that and go, 20,000 milliamp hours. Well, my battery is only 1,300 milliamp hours. So 20,000 divided by 13,000, uh, no, 20 divided by 1.3, I should be able to charge 15 batteries. And that's not how it works because the voltage isn't the same. You have a 1,000 milliamp hour 6S at 25 volts, and you have a 20,000 milliamp hour 1S at, uh, at, uh, you know, 4.2 volts. Now, if I'm wrong about that assumption, like if that battery bank is actually 20,000 milliamp hours at 3S voltage, then the, the math changes. Wesley Vardy asks, why 1S? Wouldn't it be more like 3S? Yeah, so Wesley, that's the question. Um, most of the time, if you look on like Amazon and you see a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank, it's 1S. And the reason it's 1S is that they're just charging USB and then they have a little step-up regulator maybe to give you 9 volts. But usually it's, it's 1S because that makes the number bigger and it's simpler. If they're trying to jumpstart a car, then it's probably 3S because it wouldn't make sense to have a step-up regulator that could carry the voltage that, or the, the current that would be required to jumpstart a car. So it's probably 3S. So triple that number. Um, it's not that they lie. Gap Tooth Granny says the power banks are usually 20,000 milliamp hours at 1S with a step-up converter. Yes, that's what I was getting at. But as I think about it, in order to jumpstart a car, it requires a lot of current. And it wouldn't make sense to build one of those with a, a voltage regulator that could handle, a step-up regulator that could handle all that current. It would make more sense to just build a 3S. So like... If we're looking at a USB power bank, all of these are 1S. 3880 milliamp hours, 10,000 milliamp hours, 36,800 milliamp hours. That's all 1S, right? But if we look for a jump starter power bank, so this is 1200 amps peak, 12 volts. This is a 3S. But where is the, here we go. So 20,000 milliamp hours, 2,000 amps. I got to tell you, I still think they're lying. I think this 20,000 milliamp hours is the 1S USB equivalent. And that it's outputting 3S to the alligator clips. 
but the 20,000 milliamp hours, I'll bet, is a 1S USB equivalent. That's what you will get if you're using it for USB charging. That's my theory. Yeah. I don't think it's 20,000 milliamp hours at 3S. I'd be surprised. Just based on the size of it, I'd be a little surprised about that. So like 20,000 milliamp hours, it could be nine. That could be about nine. 18650 cells or something. Anyway. Um, there you go.